Lawmakers are anticipating that the upcoming policy address will outline improvements to the Top Talent Pass scheme, which attracts high-caliber individuals to work and live in Hong Kong. Almost two years since its launch, over 100,000 applications were received under the scheme, and roughly 80,000 have been approved as of last month. Tao Hongyu, a graduate of Peking University, is one of the 66,000 talents who have relocated to Hong Kong. After applying for nearly 500 jobs over three months, he ultimately landed a position in finance. It's about your ability to compete, he said, underscoring his dedication to establishing roots in Hong Kong before potentially seeking opportunities abroad. Li Fa Hai, who arrived this year with an engineering degree from Wuhan University, has started a human resources company. He believes that while Hong Kong offers many advantages, it needs to foster more entrepreneurial opportunities to retain talent. Existing opportunities aren't enough. We need to create new ones, he asserted. Currently, applicants must hold a degree from any of the top 100 ranked universities in the world. However, many entrants opt for something not related to their qualifications. Lawmakers want the government to identify the sectors which need talent. Council member Wendy Hong, representing the election committee constituency, emphasized the need for more research to refine the government's talent criteria as many good institutions are overlooked. For instance, the Science Park still has around a thousand vacancies, two years after the scheme was introduced, she stated. Jeremy Chu, Cable News.